The following is Fall 2008, Math 125, Department Final, number 1. Write an equation of the line through the point 5,1 that is perpendicular to the line uh, 3x minus 5y equals to 5. Now let's start. Uh, uh, the line that we are dealing with right now is uh, 3x minus 5y equals to 5. And we know this line is perpendicular to line 2, uh, which passes through 5,1. Okay? Now, because it's perpendicular, because it's perpendicular, uh, then therefore uh, the slope of line 1 times the slope of line 2 equals to negative 1. Or maybe put it another way the slope of line 2 is negative reciprocal of the slope of line 1. Okay, now so what I will do first, I will find the slope from line 1. Okay, I will find the slope for line 1. Let me solve it for uh, y here so that we can read the slope from this line. Divide by negative 5, that's negative 3 over negative 5x plus 5 over negative 5. Y therefore equals to 3 fifth x plus, uh, minus 1. So from here we see that the slope of line 1 is 3 fifth. Now the slope for line 2 therefore is negative reciprocal. Is it okay? Now then uh, from here uh, this is what I will do. When I go to line 2 then we know that line 2 must have this equation y equals negative 5 over 3x plus some constant okay and then using the coordinate that we know passing through line 2 i will try to find that constant this is negative 25 over 3 plus b move it to the other side do the lcd thingy right and you get this Therefore, the quotient of line 2 is given by negative 5 over 3 x plus 28 over 3. Now, unfortunately, uh, we don't have that slope intercept form in our option. So, what I will do, I will change this into general form. Of course, one thing I can do is to multiply by 3 to get rid of the denominator. So, I have 3y equals to uh, negative 5 x plus and then I move the 5x to the other side 5x plus 3y equals to 28 now seems like we don't have that here uh, but we have this one you see that's the opposite of this right okay negative 5x minus 3y equals to negative 28 you see okay That's the the solution uh, part. The, the answer is E. Okay, but uh, let's say something else. Let's say something else. And right now, I want to give you an alternate way to look at this. If line one is perpendicular to line two, uh, like what we said earlier, that the product of the slopes is negative one. Uh, but we can see another thing. Uh, what I want to say is. If line 1 has a general equation ax plus by equals to a constant, uh, then line 2, because of perpendicular, uh, you will see that you switch, you swap the coefficients, and you make one of the other uh, becomes the opposite. Okay? You see that you s you're going to swap a and b. Okay? and let's say the a you take the opposite okay if you take the a opposite don't do the b opposite if you do the b opposite don't do the a opposite okay one of them then you change the sign now these two lines will be perpendicular you can try uh, uh, using from equation from line one you find what is the slope and use the negative reciprocal to get the slope of line two and then you change it back to uh, general form then you will see that case now 
how do we apply this knowledge into this question here? And it's actually a lot faster. Uh, line 1, we know that it will be 3x plus minus 5y equals to 5. So, because line 2 is perpendicular, then line 2 must have negative 5x minus 3y equals to another constant. Now, how to find that constant? You plug in 5,1. And you will get negative 5 times 5 minus 3 times 1 equals to another constant. This is negative 28 equals to that C2. Therefore, you get 3x minus 5y equals to negative 28, which is E. Okay, now you see that the second method here is a lot faster, but of course, I want to say that even though it seems to be faster, you need to know more than this standard way of doing it. You know, this way of doing it, number one, is actually a method of doing it in algebra one or in beginning algebra, elementary algebra. Okay, which is a standard procedure, but the second one actually requires more maturity in uh, intermediate algebra. Okay, now I'm glad that this question number one being asked in the department final. Okay, because either you do it short with more understanding or with less understanding you do it longer. Okay, now that's the trade-off in math. The more you know, the more efficient you will be. The less you know, the longer what the longer will the process be. Okay, this is from Fall 2008, Math 125, Department Final, number one.